Hey guys, welcome back to Masonic Curators, where we're preserving history by telling the stories of individual items that we're showcasing, uh, sometimes multiple times in a week, sometimes every day during the week. Um, today on the program, I'm really excited. Um, I love books. Um, I was not a huge fan of books my whole life until uh, I was probably 17 or 18 years old when I started opening them and really diving in, but I've never been able to dive into uh, fictional things. Um, I liked science fiction as a kid, of course I liked the mysteries, um, but I was better off reading technical manuals and things. Um, but as you can see in, in a lot of the different videos we've put out there, my Masonic library is pretty extensive and it's not just proceedings and it's not this or that, it's actual books on masonry on topics. Recently I had dinner with a brother who um, gave me a gift and this book that he gave me is right here oh my god it's a plain blue book well here's what's interesting this is the mysteries of Eleusis by Overoff M Overoff to be exact um, what's interesting about this book is that this binding is uh, from 1954, the, bu the book was rebound in, in 1954, 1955, August, I believe. Um, but the pages were printed in 1817. So we have uh, about uh, I don't know, 60 years, 70 years uh, of, of the outside, the binding, but these pages are 200 years old. Yes, I know, I'm going to touch them with my bare hands, uh, only for the purpose of this video, so that I can flip some pages for you uh, easily without, uh, you know, uh, getting caught up on gloves. So when I open it up, the first thing I will point out to you all is some handwritten script on the first page. I'm not going to open this flat, but I will try it so that I can show you the text. The next couple pages, now this is published by Rodwell and Martin Company. Um, they were the successor to Mr. Falder, uh, who was a uh, book printer. Now, here is the cover page. An essay on the Eleusinian Mysteries. And uh, printed London, printed for Rodwell and Martin, New Bond Street, 1817. It was actually written by M. Overoff, as I stated. You can see that there. And he was the counselor of state to his imperial majesty, the emperor of Russia. And there, it was translated in, into, uh, from the French by J.D. Price, and there are some observations by J. Christie. Uh, again, these pages from 1817. Uh, there is an advertisement in the front, or advertisement, and there's a preface. This book had a few uh, editions. So the first edition, which was published in 1812, this book went through a few revisions, um, and it's absolutely fascinating, um, and it really makes a case uh, for every fraternity came out of this. Uh, and I think that's pretty interesting when we consider, when I say fraternity, not just the element of fraternity, but the idea of a school of wisdom, how to impart things in a certain way. Uh, and this has just been kind of uh, changed over time, adapted over time to fit society's needs at the time. Um, of course, we all know that the degrees in masonry uh, were, of course, operative at the time, moving to speculative with an influx of gentlemen who knew how to read and the Renaissance, and things got more mystical. And then they pulled from sources, they, they took the base foundation of a fraternity, and then they added in these dramas, which were uh, really kind of right here. And it's just a fantastic uh, book that I think you all will enjoy. Um, 
it's a, it's been a great read so far. I'm, I'm about halfway into it. Uh, I do have to be very delicate when I read this book, but uh, I have to say a huge thanks to the brother who uh, gave me this book. Uh, I love it so much, and it is a prized possession. Uh, and I will hold on to it forever and ever. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this uh, episode of Masonic Curators, and we'll talk to you all real soon. Thanks again.